Man, what's up, bro? We back. Back, nigga. Like your little kid said, we back. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you I think it was something like you are never doing. You're back. Some shit like that. Some shit he said. Anyways, let's move on, bro. I know I've been gone for a few months. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. I've been gone for a few months. Mm, okay, I would say that first month, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, fuck that shit. We ain't gonna talk about that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. I don't work at Pepsi anymore. I work somewhere else. Boom, straight like that. So look, I feel like I've been gone because the way that I was trying to do my YouTube, it wasn't really genuine, in my opinion. Like, I knew something fell off. It didn't feel like, like that last video I posted, like the shit, I ain't even, I can't even really rewatch that shit because the shit sounded so depressing in my opinion. Like, nigga, we back. You know what I'm saying? I just got me a cut. I didn't show you the review. The review I made. Shit. Just got me a cut, bro. Um, I'm about to say. It's fucking, it's grind time, bro. Honestly. Nigga, nigga, off social media. You know what I'm saying? You see the shit. Fuck with it, nigga. You see the shit. Got the shit done yesterday. I just felt like my shit was off. Like, it wasn't me. So, now, you know, let's just be real. You gotta be off the internet. You feel me? I think that's what, one of the things that was, that was holding me back. This shit was a distraction. I look on that shit, like, bro, this type of shit I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, I got two babies, nigga. Um, my life is just different. I always tell myself, my life is just different. And it's been taking me a while to really uh, hold a grasp of it, get a grip of it. <laughs> and due to that I have two babies, I'm basically in a season where I don't fuck with nobody for real. It's, it's like, I do a lot of shit on my own. Besides, with my girl, with my babies. You know what I'm saying? Majority of this shit I'm doing by myself. Like, I just did a, a flag football tournament with my homeboys too, though. You know what I'm saying? But besides that, nigga, just know, chasing after your dream, nigga, ain't nobody finna hit you up. Chasing after your dream, nigga, ain't nobody gonna support you at first type shit. Like, I do have a few people who, who supported me when I first did my car detailing shit. You know what I'm saying? But um moving forward from that it's like I, I never committed to anything and that's one of the things that i want to change moving forward i just got back I just got out of the gym you know what i'm saying uh but one of these things i want to change by myself is having commitments like i got my hair retwisted or whatever locked up or whatever i really wanted barrel twist but my hair was too short for it so i got these plaques in my head it is what it is you know but i just want to say that i usually grow out my hair and after about six months to a year or so some bullshit like that like i don't cut it off and went back to my low cut you know what i'm saying then i start back over like that for myself was a cycle that i need to break in my opinion it's, it's a commitment cycle I, I've been telling myself that I have struggles with commitment. You feel me? So now I want to commit to having my hair for at least five years, some shit like that. You know, maybe a little longer, maybe until it gets to a certain length. You feel me? Like to my ears. I think I had it to my ears before. I don't know. Maybe to my ears, to my neck, shoulders, something like that. Now. I want to have a real commitment to that as well as actually getting my business up and running going forward getting the llc you know what i'm saying get any licenses any any uh certificates or anything like that anything i need like that i'm trying to actually commit to something and build something for myself like it, it, it's a blessing right now it's a blessing to be out here i'm grateful it's beautiful out here. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, it was just a bad environment for my videos and Pepsi. Um, so so I, I got these little benches out here. 
Shit, it look like I'm in the fucking woods and shit. I'm just in my apartment. <laughs> I'm just in my apartment, but like, it's like nine o'clock. I ain't even got my phone. Like, wake up, don't even touch my phone for real. Just look at the time for real. Go about what I need to do, you know? Spend that time off my phone. You spend that time off your phone, God gonna give you that message that you've been needing, that you've been wanting. I'm trying to find your purpose, all right? What what feels the best? You, you stay on your phone, it's it's an artificial, uh, it's an artificial dopamine. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course you don't. I'm saying, well, maybe you don't. I don't know. But look, it's artificial, bro. It's not exactly how you should be feeling, and that's where this depression, this anxiety, that's where shit like that tends to build. You know, because you you look at these people' life online, and it's like it's the same. It's the same thing, bro. It's fake. Some people live. You know, they're not they're not exactly living that exactly lavish lifestyle, but you can still set that as your goal. Keep that in the back of your mind. But then moving forward, okay, let's let's set these mini goals to not be on social media all day, right? Let's not be on Instagram all day, Facebook, TikTok, all these platforms. Start using different platforms. Like I would say, start using LinkedIn. You know what I'm saying? Build your network next. Like, if you're going to be on the social media platform, I guess, use LinkedIn. I ain't going to front. I'm not going to sit here and act like I still don't be on the, the social media. But look, I deleted Facebook and Instagram. So now I only have YouTube. So with that being said, I use YouTube every now and then. I still have that discipline in myself to not just be on an endless scroll on shorts or go on a binge watch when it comes to my YouTube videos because I like to play Tekken. Let me know if you try to play Tekken. I just hit, bro, I just hit Tekken. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think it's Tekken God. I ain't been on it in a few days. I, boy, I think I just hit Tekken God. Whatever the first purple one is, nigga, I just hit that shit the other day with how wrong, how rain. Nigga, I'm fucking turned, nigga. I was, it was so hard to get out of that shit too, boy. So look, I, I've been fucking playing Tekken, bro. I play Star Wars, man. So look, bro, I'm a gamer for real. Shit, I, shit. I seen that new, uh, that Gears of War about to be lit. Boy, I'm ready for Gears. Call of Duty about to be fucking lit. But um, I also been playing a little bit of that Hellblade. Um, that shit was freaking lit too. So, like, shit. I'm trying to build a community for real, you know. Um, but I got to be more me. Like, this shit right here, I feel like this is more me. Shit, I was doing that fucking Pepsi. I don't think that shit was me. And, I, and even then, bro, I was still recording videos. I ain't never post them and I had even said something about that in one of my videos or one of my shorts I had said something about that bro but it, it still never felt right it still never felt right like it's like something was off you know what I'm saying so I go back to saying why I feel so different being being a dad you know I feel like when I scroll through social media I don't have any, I don't know who the fucking fathers are, you know what I'm saying, who are, are building a life for themselves. Maybe maybe some of these gurus and shit like that, I don't even know how to explain it. Or these media influencers. Bro, but majority of these niggas I feel like I'll be watching, they just ain't got no kids, okay? And I, it's been such a, it's been such a, um, a struggle as a father in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if, if it's, do to me because I feel like I'm a bad father um maybe that's it bro I don't know bro um and, and it's like I don't I don't call my father I don't call my dad to ask him for advice I, I don't call him I I would rather not type shit um because just one thing about me man I don't mind asking for help. Um, like even when it comes to money and stuff like that. But I figure it out first. Like, shit. Because at the end of the day, God got me and God got you. You got faith in God, bro. Because look, I was a little bit short on rent. I had to sell some of my stocks. And uh, 
But then I had, I had to still pay for daycare that same week. Man, I ain't know what I was about to do because I needed that. It was like 150 by um by what's I'm gonna call it by Friday. I'm like shit, I might have to ask my mama. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I had just gave her some money. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, she she gave me the money back that I needed, and, and, and then some. So, so it, it, it's a blessing, bro. It, it just works out, bro. I, I that's why I feel like working on my business. I can't be so scared. I had to take that first step. You know what I'm saying? I had to go, bro. Just fucking do it. You know, like it's gonna be slow. It's gonna be hard. But that's the point, bro. That's the point. Nigga, choose your heart. I've been, I, I don't, I don't, I keep that in my head too. Like, choose your heart, bro. <laughs> Going to a job is hard. Being an entrepreneur is hard. But what, what type of, what type of reward you want? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know if. What I'm about to say. No, what, what, yeah, exactly. What, what type of reward you want in life? I guess. You want freedom, or it ain't nothing, uh, bro. And let me say, I'm not knocking out no job, bro. Shit, that's the type of shit you gotta go through first. If you ain't no damn hustler or trapper or something like that, nigga, you gotta work a job, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but you gotta work two, or you gotta work one, and that bit pay the bills for real. You know what I'm saying? To where you can focus that extra time that you got on your business, on yourself, going to the gym, my nigga. Go to the gym, bro. Start off slow. You ain't even gotta go every day. I ain't gonna front. I, I was going for like four weeks, five weeks straight. I stopped going for like a week. Then I got back into it. You feel me? And I've been vegetarian for about a good two years or a year. So then I started back eating fish. So I went pescatarian. But now, bro, I think it's time for a different. It's, it's 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 different time, bro. You know, I, I'm, I'm changing, bro. It's time to get back into eating chicken, eating poultry. I think eating the right meat. I ain't eating no pork still. Still not eating no pork. Like sausage, uh, sausage. Uh, what's what I'm about to say? I'm not eating no pork. Burgers, beef. I'm not eating that shit. But I eat some chicken and poultry and fish. It's the only thing I'm gonna stick with. But. Um, I feel like it's good to be back. I feel like now it's my time. It's my time to shine. You know what I'm saying? And I think shit, I'm probably just going to end it at that for real. It's my time to shine. I might post this video if I even editing in that bit. Shit, I ain't really do much. Shit. Um, but be ready. goes to myself be ready shit about to change say wildin 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 chi look at your hair all right all right take it